Have you ever thought if you might be at the right place at the right time? Street signs are there for a reason. That was Jacob. And no, it's not the first time Anthony will cross paths with him. He was meant to be there. Often, we're meant to be in a place to do good and make a difference. How often do we say, how can I make this world a better place? Maybe just one person at a time. Late again? Uh, late night. Yeah, where have I heard that one before? Can't imagine. Hey, have we met someone before? No, I don't think so. Really? Because you look so familiar. I'm pretty sure I'd remember you. See ya. Bye. Um, hey, do you, do you live around here? Look, you seem nice, but to be honest, it's a little early for me and pick up lines, so enjoy your latte. It's dark roast. Forget it, honey. Just not tight. Sorry, I got held up. Well, the next time we schedule a board meeting, we'll make sure to take your social calendar into account. <laughs> As I was saying, ladies and gentlemen, last board was very positive. We experienced unique business. I know you're not a morning person, but seriously. Seven. Cut me some slack. I can out till three. Are you for real? You gotta show me how you do that. You talked to that girl for, what, 15 minutes? 30, I talked to her on the way home, sort of. Nothing happened. Something to share? Oh, I was just explaining to Mr. Frampton here that while we did see a mere 20% user growth during that time period, quality is as important as quantity. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, but the, the final numbers won't come down until we aggregate the reports. In the meantime, you can be assured that the underground is performing at its highest capacity. And with a new shared space rolling out shortly, you can guarantee your investors that we will continue to be one of their most profitable ventures. All right. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Tucky.com CEO is told their board. <laughs> Anthony, can I see you for just a second in my office? Thank you. Thank you very much. 
Thank you, gentlemen. Was she worth it? <clears throat> you want the details now? No, not really. Are you gonna see her again? Never mind. I don't know why I asked. Look, I'm, I'm sorry about that. I know it's not fair to you and, the, you and the guys. You were 15 minutes late to a rather important board meeting. Every time you pull a stunt like that, your reputation takes a hit, Tony. I don't want people to start questioning your dedication to this company. <laughs> If anybody has questions about my dedication to this company, I'm happy to point them in the direction of our user count. No one's questioning how much you do. But Tony, that group we just met with, they have one real interest in our company. That's what we can do for their investments. And we're number two in the marketplace, and we were trending fastest growing company in the last year. So. Yeah, last year. That's last year. They don't care about last year, Tony. They care about this year. And acting like we don't care doesn't help. 10, 15 minutes late at the most. If it were just me, you could come in here strolling through at noon for all I care. You'd get the job done, and you're good at it. But the reputation of this company, it's based on the reputation of its members, and I don't want people to start asking why I still have you around. Okay, look, I'm sorry. Putting the reputation of this company on the line is the last thing that I want to do. I know. I just, please, when you're out there living it up, just remember this company's why you can. Yes, Dad. Mm. The accountant is here to see you. Again? I think it's urgent. When is it not? All right, send him in. Oh, hey. Mm. Have we hired any new people recently? Maybe like a redhead about our age? No, I don't think so. Why? No reason. This isn't going to be an HR problem, is it? You walked into the board meeting 20 minutes late. And look, dude, I got to be honest. It's your fault. Nick wouldn't have half the reason to be the jerk that he is because he wouldn't have half of what he has if it wasn't for you. Yeah, it was the underground pretty much your idea. Uh, it was our idea. I, I just came up with the name. Uh, and half the investors. And who came up with the other half and built the company platform and programmed the thing. Program it? Seriously? We programmed it. I get it. I got your back. We grew up together. The brotherly devotion thing. Dude. Nick is not the poor kid from down the block anymore. You gotta cut yourself some slack. Stop acting like he's your boss, because he's not. Actually, technically, he is my boss, and he's your boss, too, and yours, and yours. But, you know, he's right. I need to take things more seriously. I need to take everything more seriously. You feel all right, dog? Got a temperature or something? Hey. You spent the last 10 years making the underground what it is. It's time to enjoy the success. Live the dream, baby. Live the dream. Is that what we're doing right now? Bigger picture. Look. We've got money. We've got the best internet company on the planet. We've got the digs. I'm really good looking. <laughs> Don't push your luck. Look, if we're on top of the world, why does it feel like that? Uh, I see this. This is the Sunday philosopher. Sunday philosopher? Mm -hmm. when, uh, when Tony was in college, you used to get in these long debates about the meaning of life. Well, it's too early. I'm not drunk, and I don't want to hear it. Yeah, you wonder why Nick has issues with me. <laughs> he has problems with me because I don't put up with his attitude, and he has problems with everyone else because he's a self-righteous jerk. A self-righteous jerk made it possible for you, Chris Frampton, to imagine that one day you'll be living the dream with someone like that. Challenge accepted. Oh, it is going to be fun. Uh -oh. Damage control. <laughs> Really? Good evening, ladies. You're enjoying yourself thus far? We well, um, I just happen to have two select invitations to the 10th level of the underground, and I don't know what to do with them. Are you kidding me? That's the most exclusive level of the underground. You get all kinds of deals and discounts. How did you get those? You underground. Oh, yeah, like every single day. Well, I'm watching you like every single day. That's not at all what he means to say. Do we need to, like, revisit your power of introduction? Do we need to revisit how much you suck as a wing? I'm usually not playing wingman. Um, ladies, allow me to introduce Chris Frampton, lead programmer at the Underground. Seriously? And I'm Anthony Seaton, director of marketing. Oh, he's the co-founder, too, if that presses anyone. Wow, can you believe this, Kate? Not really. I believe it. This guy makes your life more safe and secure every single day. I do my best. 
And what exactly do you do, Anthony? You know what, I think I'm gonna head out. It's getting late. But you just got here. I have a long day tomorrow, so it was really nice meeting you both. Again, you mean, we met this morning. This morning, dude? Kate. It was nice meeting you, Anthony. Chris, my chick. See ya. It was something he said, right? So, you underground. Every single day. Well, like I said, I am watching you every day. But in a good way. Chat. Kind of like Batman. Chat. Yeah, it was <laughs> nice to meet you. Good morning. You're here early. Hey, am I? Just got in design options for the promo campaign for level 13. Want to see? Sure. Nice color palette. Hey, we are the underground, right? Dark's our thing. Yeah, it's like great. I'll pass it up the neck for approval. So how'd it go last night? Uh, same as usual. Chris made a new friend. <laughs> really? Because I heard she called him Chad all night long. And once or twice. And that she went home with you. Nothing happens. Sure. I'm serious. I'm sure. Let me know what Nick says. Oh, and here are the latest numbers if you're interested. Good news. Not good news. Not exactly bad. Users down another 10%, but that was expected. Any grumblings from yesterday from the investors? Nothing from the investors, but word from sales is that if Hodge and Gates doesn't get more return, they, quote, won't be returning. Yeah, well, their quick are not our problem. It's up to them to create compelling advertising. You try telling them that. What's this? What? It's like a cease and desist. Really? Has Nick seen this? I presume so. On time today? Well, maybe Chad doesn't have to worry. Oh, uh, you heard about that, huh? Oh, yeah, beautiful woman disses Chris all night just to go home with you. I've paid people to tell me stuff like that. You know, if you came out with us once in a while, you might actually get to see her for yourself. <coughs> mm -hmm. Risk my reputation as the stone-hearted, iron-fisted CEO of the underground? No, I don't think so. Yeah, they don't see it that way. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, nothing happened. Uh-huh, I'm sure. You what? seen this? CMD? Yeah, we get these all the time. Yeah, it's not just typical CMD, it's from Stratosphere. Blocking level 13 rollout. It's not like the idea of shared space is exclusively owned by Stratosphere. Nick, we modeled half of level 13 on Stratosphere's model. Yeah, sure, we modeled half of it. We didn't copy it. Don't worry about this. Listen, just focus on getting our user accounts up. That's what matters right now. It's kind of hard to sell the original innovative rep when you're being sued for stealing. No, 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 no. Hey, original innovative. It's only half of our mystique. We're also the underground. I think you can sell that to our advantage. If you say so. I do say so. Now go on. I think our buddy Chad uh, wants to know what didn't happen last night. Nothing happened. <laughs> Father, let me help you. Thank you. That'd be wonderful. Where are you headed? Uh, just around the corner to the center. The center? You know, the community center behind the cathedral. Right. The center. Exactly. Well, here we are. You know our church serves the community in a variety of ways. This center dedicates its time to the kids in the neighborhood. Providing after-school activities, mentoring and tutoring, among other things. Come on. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, Father. Uh, this young gentleman, um... Anthony. Anthony has been kind enough to help us with the evening treats. Thank you. Hey. I, I, I guess one of these is yours. Thanks. Is everyone here? If so, we should probably go ahead and get started. Anthony, you're more than welcome to join us if you'd like. Uh. You're welcome to stay, you know. It's a brainstorming session for some of the programs at the center. 
I don't know if not in profits. I don't, I'm sure, it. considering your online expertise, we come up with some amazing ideas. Well, you know, it's, um... You know, we can really use your help. Well, you're gonna have to fill me in. Something tells me you can handle the basics, Mr. Hardegreen. Interesting ideas there, Mr. Seaton. Thank you. Thank you. Of course. Nice job. I have my moments. Listen, about the other night, I'm sorry. It's just that bars aren't really my thing. Don't be. You know, I heard as much. From Sherry. Yeah. She mentioned you walked her home. Nothing happened. I know. I walked her home. That's... Apparently you were the biggest disappointment of her whole life. That's one I've never heard before. Hey, do you want to go out? I do know this great little shop around the corner. No, I don't think that'd be such a good idea. Why not? I mean, I'm just not really your type. My type? Yeah, you know. Uh, so you're calling me a player? No. I you did. You know, there's something in the Bible about that. John 7, judging on appearances. I wasn't. Yeah, you were. But maybe you're right. Just let the father know I'll email him about those things. Anthony, I'm sorry. New print proofs. Would you call me a player? What? You know, would you call me a player? Oh, not to your face. Thanks. What up, Mama? He, on the other hand. Don't you have something to file? I think she loves me. Well, would you call me a player? Yeah. Yeah, your name's in the wiki. It's your picture. What? I just, is that what everyone thinks? That's what everyone thinks is awesome. Not helpful and not awesome. There's that Sunday philosopher look again. Hey man, I already told you. You built a good life for yourself. You need to stop worrying about what other people think. Yeah, it's not so much what they think as whether or not that's really what I am. And being the company Casanova wasn't exactly in my life. Before. Casanova, really? No one uses that anymore, it's old school. Right. You're right, thanks. Is that Sherry? No. What'd you want to see me about? Yeah. Um, some of the guys heard a rumor that Stratashare is trying to put a stop to level 13. Nick says it's nothing to worry about. Nick says. Yes. Nick says. Okay. Keep me in the loop. Sure. I'll see you later, bud. See ya. Megan, you got my files? So your friend, is he still with the company? Uh, yeah, he's the CEO. That's really incredible you guys have stayed together after all these years. Yeah, well, once you've been through Catholic school, you're pretty much bound through anything. Yeah, what school? Uh, it's up in Kennesaw. My grandma lives in Kennesaw, actually right next to a Catholic school. Wait, not uh, the house up on the hill with the Christmas lights? She is known for Christmas lights. <laughs> You're saying Kate? Hmm? Katie Stanton. Boy, you remember two little neighborhood of them just used to just peer over the fence, you and your friends, or your sunbathing during the summer? Wait a minute. You're Anthony? Anthony Seaton? And you thought I was hitting on you. You were hitting on me! Uh, I, I see things haven't changed. Well, I'll <laughs> 
so I guess it was you and Parker. Your friend, Nick Parker. Stephen Parker's still making trouble 20 years later. Wow, like millions of dollars of trouble. This is gonna <laughs> blow Grandma's mind. She thought you two delinquents would end up in jail for sure. Well, we were very close. A couple times, actually. I, don't, I gotta get back to work. But thanks. Thanks for lunch. You are never gonna guess who I ran into. You are that redhead I was talking about. You asked me about a lot of women, Tony. No, the one from the other day. Anyway, I was at the community center and- What were you doing at a community center? I was delivering coffee. Anyway, I run into none other than St. Kate. St. who? Kate. Katie Stanton. Little old lady Stanton's granddaughter. Jeez, I think we bugged the snot out of her when we were little. Torment her as much as possible. Tony? I mean, I think we made it our personal goal to make her life miserable the summer we turned 10. Tony. She's the girl. Anthony. I mean, she's the girl, St. Kate. Girl. Anthony. So cool. I really don't care what girl you scored with last night. What? I am two hours away from my quarterly budget meeting, and you're late again. I still don't have your reports on my desk. Finished it last night. You know, the final number's on your desk by COB today. Tony. Tony. Where did you find this? Now, I'm at home. My mother kept it. She used to send me a bunch of stuff when she moved out of the neighborhood. Man, I don't know right. My mother who would have thunk. Man, I forgot what took this. I think it's at one of those church festivals they had every year. Mrs. Stanton made us take it, remember? I think she thought we were just teasing Kate. Dude, we were 10. Oh, I'd like to see what she looks like now, though. She's the reason you were at the church center the other day, wasn't she? Sort of. Sort of? What? It's been a long time since you've done anything with the church. Yeah, I kind of got away from it for a while. What's that? This is why I went off this morning. I'm sorry it caught me by surprise. It's a court injunction filed by Stratosphere preventing the level 13 rollout. Nick. Copyright, patent infringement, you name it, they're claiming it. Well, what's our defense? We developed our own version, which is true and it's strong. Doesn't mean when this thing hits the wire, there won't be a heck of a firestorm. Now, the underground is way too popular. Our users are not going to take this lightly. If only they judge case law, we'd be set. It's too bad they don't. What? Well, I'll just get with PR in the morning, drop a game plan. Sounds good. I got a roll, but I wanted to explain. Nick. Yeah. Thanks. See you in the morning? Yeah. Sorry, I'm late. I had this meeting that ran over. Okay. Going okay. Yeah. How about you? Uh, it's fine. You heard about the Strata Share, huh? Yeah, Underground News Network. Right. Up to the minute, everything. You know, it's really not a big deal. We got these things all the time. Well, I'm sure you do, but if what they're alleging has any truth to it, well, how's Nick handling it? Uh, fine, I guess. Like, he handles everything. With panache and charm? <laughs> Hardly. So when are we gonna all hang out? Uh, uh, I don't know. He's a pretty busy guy. I suppose he never got married. Married? No, uh, he's definitely not the marrying type. He's a workaholic. That's too bad. I remember him always being really nice when he wasn't calling me names or bringing in grandma's pool. <laughs> you mean he was a total dweeb? He wasn't the only one. Um, hey, do you know, um, do you know some of the kids in this neighborhood? 
Possibly. I mean, I work with a lot of them at the center. Yeah, um, you know a guy named Jacob? Jacob. Yeah, he's like 15 or 16. He's um, kind of obsessed with shoes and he has a problem with jaywalking. What? Yeah, never mind. Anyway, doesn't matter. Is he someone you want to mentor? Mentor? No. No. <laughs> Dude! Hey. Dude, word. Hi. Uh-huh. Um, look, I got something I need your help with. You think you have some time? With what? I don't know, there's, um, there's, like, coffee involved. No, oh, gross, man. Soda? How about one of them fizzy waters? Fizzy what? Do you want my help or not? Yeah, yep, I do. Fizzy water, you got it, bud. Come on, let's do it. Fizzy water? How many siblings you Two younger. I've been taking care of them for about four years. So you've been taking care of them since you were 12? Ain't no big thing. They're good kids. Keep out of trouble. And you? I've never been in trouble if that's what you want to know. Well, you're doing a lot better than I was doing at your age. <laughs> you? You're lying. No, I actually got into a lot of trouble for boosting a car when I was 14. Seriously, you stole in a car? Well, I didn't steal it. It was a prank, but that's what the record says. Why'd you let yourself get caught? I didn't let myself get caught. You can't even do the bad stuff right. How'd you do it? What? Get to where you are. You know, the good life. You know rich kids boosting cars at 14. Well, I had people who pushed me to do better. And someone who relied on me to do the same for him. And just like that, instant millionaire. There was a little bit of work involved. But I was lucky or blessed. You know that guy that I was talking about? Well, I relied on him too. Is he still around? That guy? Yeah, he's my business partner and best friend. It must be nice having someone like that. I've got to go. Jake. You know, if you ever want to talk or shoot some hoops. Maybe, uh, I've got to go. Do you have any other thoughts about a company's official position with Bat Stratosphere? No, that sounds good to me. I think we're good to roll with these. I'll let you know as soon as I hear something else from Lee. You okay? Yeah, sorry about that. You're dreaming about redheads again. Right, what about programming? What about? Should I tell them that six months of work's about to hit a brick wall? Is Frampton hassling you? You tell him too much. He's head of programming. Yep. Tell them to worry about programming. Leave the business to the bean counters. That's what I do. Now, Chris is just worried about his team, and it's not like he doesn't have any reason to be. If he's really worried, he can talk to me. Otherwise, it's business as usual. We're gonna beat this thing, Tony, one way or the other. Have a little faith. I do. Father? Hey, I received the information you sent about the marketing elements. Thank you again. You're welcome. Miss Stanton told me that you were asking about Jacob Martinez. I was just curious. Can I ask why? Maybe it's none of my business. He just reminds me of somebody that I used to know. Well, look, 
Well, you know, our center does offer mentor programs, and if Jacob is willing, I would say it would become very much your business. I can tell you from first-hand experience, the last thing Jacob wants is help from someone like me. Someone like you? Someone with fancy shoes. Shoes? <laughs> Long story. Well, look, on the surface, it may seem that Jacob keeps his distance, but if you do speak from first-hand experience, you also know that the truth about someone like Jacob is much more complicated than it appears to be. Good afternoon, Father. Take care, Mr. Seaton. God bless you. Jacob, thank you. Is that your crew? What? Your gang. What, are you 50 or something? No, they're just some dudes from around here. I mean, they're always pulling stunts like that. What, like mugging people? They ain't gonna hurt nobody. They're just stupid. Stupid people do stupid things, you know. No, I don't know. Those stupid kids will get thrown in jail or worse. You know, you'd really be surprised. What? Yeah. I wasn't born with a silver spoon in my mouth. Born? What? Where are we, anyway? Oh, you weren't born with a GPS? Uh, where's the church? It's just a couple blocks that way. I mean, it's not like every building in the city has a giant steeple attached to it. Sense of humor, too. You get that hanging out with your gang? See you later, Prada. Hey, wait up. I know you didn't have to do that back there. You could have gotten hurt. So could have you, jumping in front of dudes with knives. Loco! Why'd you do it? I don't know. You looked like you needed the help. I mean, seriously, look at yourself. You remember what you said the other day? You don't know nothing about me. You might be surprised. Let me know if you want to chat sometime. Okay. Hey, Anthony. What the hell happened to you? Rough night. Oh, rough, huh? What do you want, Alex? So, Megan and I were chatting, and she mentioned that the rollout is going to be delayed because of all this Stratashare stuff. Timeline hasn't changed. Still is. In beta, as far as you're concerned, same rules apply. See, there's the problem. I've already been incorporating into my sales pitches. What's the protocol with products still in beta? Don't sell. So don't sell. I've had a really bad year, man. I needed this. We all do. But the status of the product hasn't changed until it does. You're going to have to deal with the underground as is. Yeah, that's not really working for me. You have now. to make it work. If you can't, we could take it up with Nick. Jeez Louise, touch. So did your grandmother remember me? I think your exact words were that little hoodlum. Well, God does work miracles. That's better than I was expecting. What were you expecting? Well, at the very least, you can never see him again. And at the most, I figured she'd want to press charges. She wouldn't do that. 
The statute of limitations ran out long ago. Very funny. Did you mention to Nick that we ran into each other? I did. He remembered you, of course, and he even dug up an old photograph your grandmother took of us. From the anniversary fair. I remember it. You do? <laughs> yeah. Oh, he also mentioned that your grandmother's head of Stan Enterprises now. She took over the company after Grandpa passed. You know, I think you should still get that book back. It's gotten worse since you got here. It's nothing. Being mugged is not nothing. I've had worse than a black eye, trust me. Still, there's a threat to the community. People need to know about it. Ouch, easy. <laughs> they do, but if anything points towards those kids being connected to the church, it could be a problem. We're doing a lot of good here, Anthony, and I want to keep doing good. I oh, know you are, Kate. You're such a good woman. I. And that, that kid who helped me out, Jacob, I mean, he really went out of his way to help me. He could have really gotten hurt. I'm glad he didn't. <laughs> I should go. I thank you. Thank you. Thank you for everything. Keep it. Good night. Night. <laughs> Mr. C. Father? So glad to see you again. What brings you by? I needed to talk to you. About Jacob Martinez? Sort of. Father, I was... mugged, attacked. A couple nights ago, like... 10 minutes from here. Oh. It's an unfortunate way of life around these parts. That's why we started the center in the first place. But for every bit of good we do, we have challenges to face as well. You said Jacob was involved? Only that he might have saved my life. You know, that actually doesn't surprise me. Really? No. You see, Jacob comes from a broken home, but he's tried his best to keep his family together. A few years ago, he started pushing his younger siblings into the center's program. He brings them by and picks them up nearly every afternoon. Yeah, but he doesn't participate. To our eyes, Jacob's a child, but for his family's sake, he's had to grow up much too quickly. That's a shame. It is, but it's the reality for him. You know, it's a hard thing for many people to understand. Not when you've been there. And you have? Now, I know someone who had to grow up too quickly, and he survived. Maybe because he had someone in his life who helped him too. Jacob, I'm afraid, he isn't as lucky yet. I mean, would he listen? He seems like the type of person who doesn't want to be seen as a charity case. I understand. But what'd your friend say? 
Uh, yeah, but I mean, I was his friend. I mean, I still am his friend. There you go. Maybe that's all you need to become for Jacob, too. Look, I know it's a lot to ask, but consider this, Anthony. God put you in his path for a purpose, and you in his. If you think he saved your life, maybe you could return the favor. You think it's really that serious? Major investors pulling out? Yeah, that's pretty serious. Why don't I see it soon? Well, you see it now. So maybe you can do something about it. That's what matters. Since we were kids, we always trusted each other for everything. And now it feels like I failed him. Well, maybe in a way he feels he's failed you too. That's the reason why he's shouldering the burden on his own. Feels like he has to be responsible for everything all the time. Hey, Nick. Hey. Hey, sorry, I'm running a little late. No problem. This is Katie Stanton. Kate. This is Stanton's granddaughter. Saint Kate, how could I forget? Oh, it's yeah. good to see you. <laughs> Nick Parker, I cannot believe it. You can't tell me this is the same pigtailed, freckle faced girl we used to torment as kids. I see you haven't lost your charm. You thought I was charming? <laughs> you thought he was charming? <laughs> she thought I was charming. You know, if you'd asked me where I thought you two would have been 15 years ago. Down the long road to delinquency. Yeah. Hey, we clean up pretty well. Don't you think? Yeah, you well, certainly I do. do. I don't know. You do. <laughs> All joking aside, my grandmother was very impressed. How is your grandmother, by the way? Not so well. She suffered a stroke a few years ago, so she has to be monitored. She stays at home now, but she won't give up the business. It's hard to think of your grandmother as anything but invincible. Believe me, she still is. Stanton Manufacturing. There was a company that was a true winner. The new CEO has it pretty well in hand. If I had to guess, I think my grandmother would prefer to work with her nonprofits and leave the business to him. What's your work with? Scholarship programs, for one thing. That's where I got mine. Oh, you know, Nick, I didn't know that. Grandmother didn't grow up wealthy. She empathized with those who needed a chance to rise above their situations. I'm glad her programs have been put to good use. I wouldn't be where I am without them. She'll be glad to hear that. You know, more stories like yours would really help forward programs like the ones my grandmother pushes for. So why don't we tell them? I mean, we've always wanted a not-for-profit leg of the underground, right? Yes. We just never had a cause to push for. And because starting a nonprofit is not exactly easy. Yeah, but if we had a jumping off point, I mean, why don't we tell the stories of kids who are left behind? I mean, the online portion would be easy enough to get up. Showcase the faces of those truly underground. Yeah, I like that. Relevant, it's a worthy cause. And I mean, how black-hearted do you have to be not to care about kids? Okay, who are we gonna get to run this brilliant idea? You. <laughs> I thought you, with Katie's help. Whoa, 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 we cannot just pile on another project, especially with all the things we have going on at the company. The company is in hand, but this, Tony, this is exactly what we need, both inside and outside the company. Then how are we gonna get the funding, huh? Well... I was thinking we'd ask your grandmother, only if you think, though, it's something that she could really get behind. No, we cannot just go asking for a bunch of money just because we think it's a good idea. But truthfully, Stanton Charitable Foundation has been looking for ways to modernize. An online initiative that partners with one of the biggest social sites on the web may be just what they need. Then it's perfect. <laughs> a perfect coincidence. Maybe there's no such thing as coincidence. <laughs> Hey, sorry to call you back last night. I was on the phone. I know. Um, have you had a chance to talk with Alex yet about the status of the company? Alex mentioned something about the merger. How? Uh, there's a rumor going around that we could be closing our doors by fall. W where'd you hear this? Alex said he's been asked to hold off on his fall pitches. Alex is saying this? He's the new authority now on the status of our company? Look, if there's anything you need to know, I'll be the first one to know it right now. There's nothing you need to know. Jesus. Black. Hey! 
Have you seen Nick? He called in. What? Why? He didn't say. Huh. Okay. Thanks. You know, if you want to learn more about his family or the neighborhood, you could always come volunteer. I don't know. I don't think I'd make the best mentor. Why? Is it the church? No, it's not the church. I just haven't been a shining example of a faithful Catholic recently. You noticed that. I made a mistake, Anthony. You're a wonderful person, and I almost missed it. Thankfully, God doesn't give up on us as quickly as we give up on ourselves. But you weren't wholly wrong. I mean, after college, I just kind of let it all go. I, how do you pick up your faith after that? I think in a way you've already started. Just, just that simple? You may not have attended church, but God has attended to you. As far as he's concerned, you're as welcome in his home today as you were 20 years ago. And the people? Well, what they think doesn't really matter. They're human. We're all human, which means we're not perfect. God's love, that is. Trust in Him and look to Him to help you work among His people. Yeah, that sounds a bit idealistic. I, <clears throat> that's what threw me off of church in the first place, is a lot of people embrace the doctrine, but as they walk out of the building, they just kind of let it go. Do you think of that of me? No, you're different. Why not? I've made bad choices. Yeah, but you're a Christian. I'm one type of Christian. There are so many others with so many different gifts to offer. But we're all human and we make mistakes. You know, a person who truly believes in Christ, loves first and foremost, loves and forgives, Trying to remember to do that is a challenge of walking God's path. You have so much faith. I have trust. God is good and he's looking for us to find that goodness everywhere we can, especially in ourselves. You just have to have faith that you can. You know, maybe this opportunity with Jacob is something he's given you to help you see it. Hey, not bad. That's a class moon. Yeah, maybe if you're like a hundred years old. <laughs> you think you can do better? I'll bet you five bucks. You're on. Check. You owe me like five bucks times like a hundred. A hundred? Okay, we're like 200. But you're not bad for an old guy. And you're almost good enough for me to play for real next time. <laughs> okay, dude, you need to take about two breaths before you have yourself a heart attack. Dude, you're really gonna need to get some new shoes so that you can play basketball. Sure, I'll put them on my Christmas list next year. <laughs> but seriously, man, you ever considered playing Father Thomas's rec league? You're pretty good. I mean, I don't have time for all of that. I, I got stuff to do, you know? Like what, hang out with your gang? Hey, 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 I'm sorry, but what are you gonna do? You gonna run away? You think that's how adult handles things? Oh, you played one game of basketball with me and all of a sudden you think you're my father? I don't wanna be your father. I just think you have a lot more potential than those kids you hang out with. 
You don't know anything about me. I do know that you were crazy enough to square up with a guy with a knife. And I know you're a smart kid. You don't need somebody to tell you what you already know. But maybe you just need somebody to remind you to be a kid once in a while. All right. See ya, shoes. Thank you, Mr. Haynes. No, 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 that sounds great. Now, well, we just need to let our investors know that, uh, well, this, this little matter is going to go away quietly, and the sooner the better. Yeah. No, no, no. Thank you for the update. All right, thanks. Thank you, yes, and have a good morning. Bye-bye. Lord, I've never met anyone who could spew as much hard air as Frampton, but I think I just met his match. I'm sure Chris will be happy to hear that. Hey, where have you been? I had some, just some business to take care of. All weekend? Well, you know, I thought you'd be out doing your thing, so I didn't want to bother you. Why are there so many variations being run? When this thing rolls out, Tony, it has to work. I mean, really, it's got to work. But at three times the operating cost? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> that high? <laughs> what, have you been sneaking away to meetings with our accountants? I get the budget report, Snake. I can see the numbers myself. Look, even if this injunction goes through, they they don't have a snowball's chance of making it stick anywhere. You willing to bet the company on that? Oh, come on, don't be melodramatic. It seems like you're hedging your bets on an if. That's not like you. You seem really concerned about the ins and outs of the underground. That's not like you. If I wasn't concerned about the underground, it wouldn't be where it is today. I know. Why, why do I have to remind you of that? No, you don't. You don't. But I've got this handled, Anthony. When did you stop believing that? About the same time you stopped taking me seriously. I didn't stop taking you seriously. Tony, you managed that all on your own. Real nice. thinking next all right the online portion of this not-for-profit it's gonna be twofold okay first the online portion is dedicated to creating profiles for kids who need help how do we find these kids again we reach out to local shelters centers uh, community centers churches and find out what their kids need donations that's just the beginning but it's really so much more than that I mean underground users live their lives online right why not let them give online How? well we let them choose the initiatives I mean it could be anything that they want. Brainstorming for days. Sounds good. All right, phase two. We take it out of the underground. We screen their initiatives and help them execute. It's like a Kickstarter for kids' programs. That's where the capital comes in. All right, sounds plausible. I mean, can you imagine what our users could come up with? I mean, people are always willing to give, but in this case, it doesn't have to be just money. It could be anything. It could be basketball shoes, it could be music lessons, it could be a, a gym space to start up a yoga program. I mean, as long as we monitor and maintain, the possibilities are endless. What's your hesitation? Can we do this now? What do you mean? I mean, I'm not going to spend all my time starting an initiative when my focus needs to be elsewhere. Where else would it need to be? On our company. Anthony, I told you. No, you didn't tell me. You didn't tell me about Blue Spec. You didn't tell me about SpectreCore. It's not your job to have to worry about it. Well, what my job is? Why are you keeping me out of this? Anthony, I'm not trying to keep you out of anything, Anthony. For the last time. I know I haven't been the best of business partners lately. Anthony, I've never, I've never thought of you as a bad business partner. But this is what I do. I salvage things. I make something out of nothing. That's my gift. You. I've watched it my entire life. Anthony, you take the ordinary and you make it extraordinary. That's your thing. I have faith that you'll make this work. Have a little faith that I will too. I do too. But faith doesn't mean you go it alone. I've never thought of myself as going out alone. You have my back. You always have. And why all the secrecy? Because people like Alex and Frampton, they make mountains out of molehills. I'm not them. 
Tony, I'm sorry. If it seems like I've been keeping you out of the loop, I am sorry. Going forward, that will change. Okay? Now, now will you talk to Kate about this initiative? I already have. I don't feel like you have to treat her special in any kind of way. She sort of hates that. Of course not. Why would I feel like I need to treat someone special in this place? Grandma! Okay. <laughs> Grandma, these were the men that I was telling you about. You remember Anthony Seaton? Oh, I remember him fondly. And uh, this is your partner in crime? Thought he might be taller and thinner. Oh. This is going on. Mrs. Stan, thank you so much for seeing us today. This is Chris Frampton. He's our lead programmer at the Underground. He's going to help explain a few of our ideas. Well, let's get on with it. I'm not getting any younger. Grandma. Well. Now, I know Kate's explained some of the details already, but I've prepared you a report, and with your help, I think we can begin almost immediately. See here. Well prepared, huh? I think you may not be the lost cause I thought you were. How lost? Not now. I once recommended to his mother and father that they look into the exchange program in Siberia. You did not. Okay, Mexico then. <laughs> well, come on, let, let's let's go over some of this stuff. Nick, Anthony, looks like we got the buy-in. That's excellent. Have Chris and his team start working on it as soon as you get back. All right, good work, Anthony. All right, I'll keep posting. Have a good one. Any word on Miss Stanton's up front capital? Uh, no, we should have things short up in a couple weeks. Good news. Hey, any word on the lawsuit? <laughs> well, you know lawyers, they'll litigate in 10 years or so. <laughs> How about the investors? Mm -hmm. They're holding for now. Okay. Just keep me posted. Mm -hmm. oh. done so quickly. Amazing job. Thanks. Yeah, dude, the merger classic. In any case, it's going in my presentation today. <laughs> what happened? Dude, the merger. Things in our future. <laughs> Absolutely. No, I can't wait to get the companies together. I think um, something's come up. Let me call you back. What the hell's going on? Calm down. You're scaring the natives. Why did I know about this? Relax. We worked this out over the weekend. But worked it out over the weekend. You don't work out multi-million dollar mergers over the weekend, especially with our investors pulling. Ah, uh, but they're not. They're back. Blue Spec, Framecore, Holmes and Gate, Spectracore, all back. How? 
It turns out that news of an impending merger with the largest cloud share company in the market was good for their stock portfolios, not to mention the better than expected returns last quarter. Returns? We didn't have enough income for returns. You didn't. This is not the best time to roll out a charitable venture, not with a merger coming, but it's still a good idea. We'll just shelve it till next year. This was your plan all along. Of course not. How was I supposed to know how much Mrs. Stanton was going to invest? Besides, you're the one who sealed the deal, and you did a good job. And Alex? Alex. Alex didn't understand. Oh, Alex understood. He understood completely. I'm sure most of this is illegal, Mick. We're bending the rules a little. It's insider information. It's stealing. Not to mention who you're stealing from. Oh, please. Mrs. Stanton is a businesswoman. If anyone in the world would understand, she would, trust me. I'm not talking about Mrs. Stanton. I'm talking about the thousands of children you just ripped out the future from under them. We didn't steal anything from anybody. Those kids are in the same place they were before this idea popped into your head. It's not like we were going to change their lives with one little online initiative anyway. Yeah, sure, just like no one changed yours. Yeah, that's right, no one changed mine. I changed my life. I did it, I did it on my own, and if anyone has any type of ambition, they'll find a way to do the same. Now, if you will excuse me, I have a number of meetings to arrange and press releases to issue. Tony, I need to know you have my back on this. We built this place together, both of us, and it's our job to save it, no matter the cost. No matter the cost? to talk about it? Not really. It may help. Thank you very much. I, I, I really need to go. Well, look, whenever you need me, I'm here. And I don't think I have to remind you, you're never really alone. Just tell him I'm sorry. Take care, Mr. Seaton. God bless you. Sit down. What? I thought you'd be over the moon at this point. I mean, the merger means no more threat to the underground. You heard about that. Underground News Network. Right. This is a good thing. Right. It is. It just means the other project needs to be put on hold. Well, that's to be expected. You're going to have a lot of details to work out in the next couple of days. No, no, it needs to be put on hold indefinitely. My grandmother's investment. Of course he didn't have the money for such a gutsy move before. What did he do, buy off the investors? I'm so... You know what's funny? My grandma would probably admire him for doing that. How much did you know? I didn't know anything. He and now that you do? What? He basically stole that money from my grandmother and those kids. And you're just going to sit back and let him do it. What do you want me to do? That's our jobs on the line. Our, our livelihood. What about Jacob's life? That money was promised for him and kids like him. If I shake this up, that could mean the end of the underground entirely. You know what? Maybe I was right about you.
Hey, where you been, man? You owe me like two pickup games. Busy. Oh, so now you're all big and important now that your company's blowing up all over the news? How did you know about that? Underground News Network. Underground News Network. Isn't that great? Isn't that just phenomenal? Something happened. It's not like you to just skip out on people. Oh, isn't it? Because you know so much about me. You're not that hard to figure out, Prada. And you know what? I don't think it's actually your business, Jacob. Oh, so you can ask me all about my business, but I can't ask you about yours? It, it, it's business stuff, nothing you'd be interested in. Oh, maybe I wouldn't, maybe I would. Nice shoes, by the way. They're just shoes. They're J's for Jacob. It takes two of them to make them worth it. Can't get very far playing the game by yourself. Katie, it's Anthony. Look, I'm at Atlanta General. Jacob's been in an accident. Just come as fast as you can, okay? I'm sorry. This is all my fault. You were not the one driving the car that hit him. <laughs> I'm supposed to be helping him and now I hurt him. No, you didn't hurt him. You need to keep praying. You gotta be strong for him and for yourself. Praying, this is God punishing me. I, I, I made all those bad choices and then, then this, this happens. What happened was an accident. If I'd have been there, I, I, I pushed him away today. God, I abandoned him. You don't know if any choice you made in the past would have changed what happened this evening. I've already told you this isn't your fault. The only thing you can do for Jacob at this moment is to pray. I don't think that's enough. I think I need to do something. I have to do something. Well, how about you start by remembering that you're only human and you're not in control here. God is. So why don't you let him be in control? And that's just it. God just made all this happen. I'm supposed to sit back and relax and let it happen. You know, you can be angry or upset if you want to. You could, you could even wish that this hadn't happened. But when it all comes down to it, the only thing you have in your power to do for Jacob at this moment is to pray. So why don't you pray for him, Anthony? What if that's not enough? See, that's the thing. It is enough. Now, it may not make things the way that you want them to be, but it is the most powerful thing that we can do for him at this moment. Listen, Anthony, I get it, Anthony. I understand. Life, it gets difficult sometimes. But you have to understand how important your life has changed, Jacob. And you gotta know, he would not wanna see you regretting any of it right now. Especially right now. You know, it's funny, I really don't think I changed Jacob's life. I think he changed mine. I just hope I had the chance to tell him that.
I mean, in reality, I'd say it's misrepresentation, and you really deserve to know. So, that's what happened. I'm half a mind to sue your company for misrepresentation. Then you'd be well within your rights, Mrs. Stanton. I just thought you deserved to know the truth. Well, you could have kept quiet, and it's not the first time that somebody like this has come along, but you could have made my money back in a couple of months and more. Your initiative would be through in a year. Nobody would have been the wiser. Just one part of it. I mean, would you want your granddaughter with somebody who would just let it slide? No. No. But nobody would have known. I would have known. I'm going to say a prayer for you. You're going to need it. Hey, would you mind saying a prayer for a friend of mine? His name's Jacob, and you know, I think he needs it more. You know the good thing about our Lord. His spirit is enough for us all. Thank you, Mrs. Stan. Thank you. Anthony. Yes, ma'am? I was wrong. You didn't turn out fine. You turned out much better than that. Yesterday, Stratosphere merger. I needed those reports. You know, I've always respected you. Even when people said you didn't belong. I knew you did. You were a better person than they thought you were. Are you going to lecture me now, Tony? Huh? What's done is done. You can't do anything to change it. Actually, I can. And what's that supposed to mean? I just want to know why, Nick. What did you hope to gain? I don't have time for philosophical debates, Tony. You want me to have your back? Answer the question. I don't know. Money, success, fame, fortune, that's what this was all about, right? But you had that already. Why wasn't it enough? What are you talking about? Tony, you know, I've put a lot of responsibility on you this last month. Maybe it's been too much. Maybe the pressure has finally taken over. You're right. You have. And now it's time that I stepped up and take that responsibility seriously, just like you wanted me to do for so long. For me, for the underground, and for you. did you do? Nothing. Yet. I'm giving you the chance to step down and let us handle this quietly. What? Next week, I'm going to ask that an internal investigation be launched in the details of the merger. The attorneys are already on notice. Why? Tony, you're gonna destroy everything we've built. Everything we've worked to build. I didn't destroy anything, Nick. You were the one who took everything we've honestly worked for and put it in jeopardy. And for what? A bigger bottom line. You're gonna sink the underground. And not just me. You're gonna sink everybody out there, what? What do you think, they're gonna come crawling to you saying thank you when it's done? There will be fallout, I know that. 
but I'm gonna do everything in my power to make sure the underground survives this. Because I have faith in that team. In that team of people who've been with us from the beginning to help me do that. The question is whether or not you'll be part of the team. I trusted you. All my life I've trusted you. I've done nothing but help you since the beginning. And I want to help you now. But I can't in good faith go along with something that I know is wrong. I haven't lied to you. But I won't lie for you either. You, of all people, want to preach to me about right and wrong. <laughs> you hypocrite. People change. You know, a friend of mine, Jacob, he says, you can't play the game alone. Well, I'm done trying. Go to hell. You know, I still have your back on this. I hope one day you can see that. What do we want out of life? The answer is to live. And doing that is so much harder than it seems, even if you live five blocks away from church like Anthony did. The choices aren't always simple, and they're never easy. But I think God challenges us that way for a reason. Our choices can't come down to what's best for me. They have to come down to what's best for others. Because at the end of the day, His greatest commandment is the most simple to follow. Love one another as I have loved you. Will we be shining, happy examples of that all our lives? No. We're human. We fall and we fail. But we have the ability to pick ourselves up again. And we have His forgiveness, which gives us the chance to try once more.